So recently it was my birthday and for it I got a Kindle and it's pretty good. I like to read so it's nice to have like an e-reader. I can read at night and all that and as you guys may know I'm actually learning Italian right now. So one of the things that I used it for is that there's an inbuilt dictionary like lookup and same with like a like when you look up a word you can have like a vocabulary builder where it like saves the words that you have looked up and essentially so I got an Italian book right here. And then let's say I'm reading it and then I see this word. Oh, I don't know what the word, uh, considerarsi, like I can hold it and then it'll just show me the definition. Cool. It means to consider. And then that is saved in a like database, like a SQL light file. So after that, what I can do here is if I just grab the cable, okay, so I can plug it in. And then when I come to my computer, now this part, look, it's not the best. Ideally, I should be able to mount everything and move and everything. And everything but for some reason I couldn't figure out how to mount it and then just do everything for the terminal so I use this app called GMTP or I use this program called GMTP and essentially I can just click connect connects it with it I go to system I go to vocabulary I quickly just download this file and then I can just save it there overwrite disconnect done now what I can do is I have this alias called Kindle Anki and then when I run this, it's gonna translate every single word, skip the words that I already have in the database, what I've already looked up. And then once it's looked up everything, it'll just add it to Anki. So let me just quickly open up Anki to make sure it's all working. You can see here it's using Google Translate to translate each word. So it's saying that the word deprimente means depressing and then just going for all that. And I've got Kindle or I've got Anki open up right here. So after this script is done, it's going to run another script. And all this is done is it's just through Python. And I didn't even do anything like I really like I just quickly made some alterations. However, this is all this is just the script that I found on GitHub. Like I just downloaded it. I made some quick modifications. And this is how I can basically use Linux. I can use Python, you know, Kindle, everything to learn new words. And, you know, here I'm using it for Italian, but you could use it for English. You could use it for any language. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to wait till it's actually done. You're going to see like, it's going to send all this messages. Like once this is done, you're going to see all the messages saying like, it's going into like the Kindle or it's going into, the, it's going into Anki. Like if I open up the amount of cards I've got right now, I've got 1,200 cards so far. And most of this has just been through this method because obviously I'm not like crazy at Italian. There's still a lot of words. I don't know. Like a lot of these words, I, I don't know I'm not sure and yep okay you can see there's like a lot of duplicates however once it starts getting to the actual words that I haven't seen so far it should just start having all these numbers and there's a lot of words right now there you can see all the words that it's adding in to Anki and then if we actually scroll up hopefully I haven't lost the output I haven't figured out how to do this okay at the end so we can see that there's 800 words that I've so far found 87 new words have been I added 87 new words and 718 skips. So a little thing that I just added. And you can see now if I just, uh, let me just refresh. So let me just open up this. You can see, yep, now we got 100, roughly 100 new words, 87 new words. That's simple. So let me show you guys actually how it all works. And, you know, I actually thought there's probably a better way I can do this because obviously the script runs and then I just, I can't see like how many new words I've added. But all it is, if I go to my ZishRC, let me just close Anki. If I go to my ZishRC, we can see here, here's the alias, and maybe it's better to do this in a script, I'm not sure, but essentially it just changes directory into the directory where I have the like GitHub repository. I open up Python. I, I do this for, I do it for this way because I have a virtual environment, like a virtual Python environment to download the requirements. And then I simply just run the things that I need to run, Google, bin.python, just like all of this is just a simple alias. It's just simple commands that I want to run. So the benefit of this is that I don't have to always type in, like I go to this, then I run Python, then I do this. It's just, it saves time because I do this maybe once a day, every day or every other day. So I'm going to run the script a lot. It's a lot easier to just, it's easier to download the vocab database file and then just quickly run this. And then I don't have to do anything. And then if we actually go to the file, so it's called Kindle vocab, you can see there's a couple of files here. So the main file here is application.py and the guy who made this, uh, I don't know, it's all right. It's all right. Um, I added some of my own changes. <laughs> like I definitely did not add it in the best way, but also at the same time, I just, I can't be bothered. Like, you know, sometimes it's just easier to add things in a way that, you know, like it's going to work for you 
and there's no point in wondering like oh how are other people going to use this because i'm i'm not going to post this like i, don't know, I just can't be popular I'll, I'll send a link to the original original kindle or to the original github repository yeah so you can see how i do it is like i print the total words and all that but you know what a better way i could do this is let me think i'm pretty sure i might be wrong but i think if we open up python we do something like import os we can do os system and then we can run actual commands so if i do notify send uh hi let's see if this works yep so i can run an actual terminal command from python yeah so as you can see we can run a terminal command from python using the os package so what i'm just going to do here instead is i'm just quickly i'm pretty sure os is already imported yeah it is so i can literally just do os dash system and then notify send. And then here, I, I wonder if I can format string this and then, okay, so apparently it might be easier to actually just use pip install notify pi. So I'm just gonna quickly, yeah, quickly try and sort this out. Yeah, okay, looking at it, eh, it seems pretty easy. Uh, I've got notify.py that, so okay. All we gotta say instead, let me just keep this here, but notify, what is it? Actually, let me put this on my, let me put this on my second one. Now. Yeah, Loki, I think that's, that's good. All we need to do is notification dot send, and then we're chilling. So if we now open Kindle Anki, and just zoom in, beautiful, look at that. Notification send, total words. Oh, it kind of sucks. Oh yeah. Let me go one more time. New words, total words, new words, skipped words. Beautiful. And as you can see, if we actually look at the script itself, so obviously I didn't make this script, but I can kind of understand it. So this is Python. Usually I do bash scripting, so it's a little bit different, but it's just defining some parameters. Um, yeah, I'm not like a hundred percent. I've never really done anything like this before, but we got the, D so we got, you could use DPL or you could use Google Translate. Can't be bothered using DPL and it's also not free, so Google Translate it is. And then it just reads the words from the file that you provide. And then after I can run this Google Translate like little function. And then here I've just got it set up where it keeps track of the word count and new words, skip words. And then to bypass words that I've already, like I don't want to like translate words that I've already translated because I run this quite frequently. So if I was to do that, eight, like 800 word translations, like if you saw before, it took quite a bit to just translate a hundred words or like 87 words. So if it was 800, bro. And every time you're like, you're translating words that you've already translated, it's just very inefficient. So it's like, if the count, if the amount of the words in the dictionary that it's gonna output to is the same, or it's like more than once. Yeah, if it's equal to zero, then you translate it. If it's not zero then it just like it skips it and it adds like a skip word counter and then here i'm pretty sure it checks the same thing yeah it will not execute if the counter is greater than one and yeah that's it like it's pretty pretty simple besides that and then the only other file is anki connect and this one is pretty simple it's just like what you want to input into anki and like the default all this nothing crazy nothing crazy I think ideal, ideally, you wouldn't have to use the GMTP. And there is a way you can like install like the, what is it like it's MTP file? Like it's some kind of MTP file system format or whatever. Like you need to install it. And I tried to do it, but it didn't work for me. For some reason, the graphical menu works as well, like, I don't have a plugged in right now, but for some reason this works, but I can't do it for the terminal. I don't know. Maybe that's something I can do. If so, I could easily have it just one command downloads it, then runs the rest of the script. That would be ideal, but it isn't. But you know, nice little short video just showing you guys how you can learn new words through Python, through Bash, through a Kindle. Alongside that, if you guys like how my setup looks, you can check out the top link in the description below. You can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me and we can essentially, I will help you achieve your dream setup. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys next time.